Okay, sorry, I forgot to adjust the webcam. Okay, I think we're good though, right? Should be. Guess we'll find out. So, got about eight minutes, so Indie World. Yeah, so today's the 14th, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. New Indie World Showcase is airing today. Tune in for roughly 20 minutes of new announcements and updates on indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. So any moment now, it will start. I'm just uh, getting a screenshot ready. So gonna okay. Come on. Well, it's uh, my monitors tell me that it's ten fifty four a.m. That's Central Time. So eleven fifty four Eastern. So very soon. charge my phone. Boop boop. Come on. I get right now it's kind of boring, but give it a couple minutes. I'm not really sure what they're going to show. Well, I mean, it'd be indie games. I remember one indie world showcase they had. Uh, they ended up showing a Zelda game. Well, it was actually a... I forgot the name of the game. Uh, but it, it, it was already a game that existed, and there was like a Zelda... Basically an expansion. But they I remember them releasing a physical version with uh, the Zelda themed Zelda theme in it. Now, that was showed during indie world... Uh, a few years ago, I think. But it was, yeah, it wasn't like from directly from Nintendo. How's it going, Patriot? Heard Ultra is in control of Area 51. Yes, yes, he is. I'm I'm in control of Area 51 and a half. It's on Mars. Yes, I am streaming this live from Mars right now, from the studio. Been hiding out here uh, from the aliens outside. Well, I guess technically I would be an alien because I'm on their planet. And they're not green, they're purple. They're purple aliens. 
Oh, and they have polar bears up here, by the way. And there's actually oxygen. Yeah, it comes from plants. Uh, the reason you can't, you don't really hear about the plants because they're very small. But yeah, they provide oxygen. So you don't need a spacesuit. Uh, here on Mars, like people thought you would. But it, yeah, it's uh, very nice up here. Yeah, there's polar bears up here. Uh, the polar bears are orange, though, for some reason. And they have two two noses. Yeah, mo yeah, they're they're supposed to have two noses. <laughs> Tony the tiger. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But they're uh they're not tigers. They're polar bears. Patriot. <laughs> but that that's the uh life. That's what life's like on Mars, and they don't chase you around. Uh, they're very friendly. Uh, actually, on Earth, well, polar bears are supposed to be friendly, too. Yeah, but you should come visit sometime. <laughs> do they still like honey? Uh, these polar bears do not like honey. They like cheese. Uh, it's not good for the, the orange polar bears because uh, of their uh, digestive system. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, somebody coming to the stream? They're like, what the hell is he talking about? Nintendo's going to be showing polar bears during the stream today? That would actually be amusing if there was a indie game from an independent studio. Um, I don't know why I said that in the same sentence. But if we got a game from an indie studio uh, about a polar bear... And it better not be the Golden Compass 3. I never saw the first two Golden Compasses. Uh, apparently there was a video game of that movie. Or Was it a book or movie first? I, I, I thought somewhere I read it was a book first, but I don't know if that's true. I, I thought about watching it, but I just didn't really care enough to watch it. I heard it's not that good, so I, I guess I'm not missing out on much. Okay, so uh, the Indie World should start in a minute. So they call it... Okay, the, the, here it just says Indie World. The title says Indie World Showcase. Which one is it, Nintendo? I'm not even sure if they know. <laughs> here we are. Okay, it's starting. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indie How's World. how's the audio? Amber. And I'm Amber. Do I need to? We've got another packed showcase full of indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch. How's that? Is the audio good so, now? Without further ado, let's get into it. I know that. Well, I. Haven't played this, but okay, Shantae. Okay, Shantae. I haven't played this, but I've seen it enough to where I kind of recognize it. I guess it's pronounced Shantae. Maybe not, but that's how I'm saying it. I don't know how the developers are saying it. It's an elephant. Oh, like in Super Mario Odyssey. There was a game from uh, well, it was from uh, Game Freak. Uh, called something. I, like, I forget the name. Something the Badass Elephant. It was developed by Game Freak, Hi, published Apple, by Sega. I'm creative director at Way Forward. And I'm Aaron Bozan, the creator of Shantae. Yeah, it's Shantae. We started development of a Shantae sequel for Game Boy Advance. It was never completed, but we'd always hope that someday we could go back and finish hmm. it. Now more than 20 years later, we brought the original development team back together to complete the lost Shantae game. Shantae Advance Risky Revolution is coming to Nintendo Switch. And we cannot wait for you to play it. After 20 years, this long lost half genie platforming adventure is back. From and way I forward. Grant a few wishes. Do you have any, Andrew? Yes, it was from Game Freak. Obviously, I wish for Shantae's signature hair whip attack. Granted, naturally, but think bigger. Okay. How about Magic Dance? Oh, Tempo the Badass Elephant. It's on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Bigger. 
Never released on a Nintendo platform. For some reason. Now, Game Freak's not owned by Nintendo, by the way. I'm, I'm gonna shut up. Sonic can outrun a fastball. In a local multiplayer battle mode. Wow, I didn't even wish for that one. Embark on this once lost revolutionary adventure when Shantae Advance Risky Revolution spins onto Nintendo Switch next year. What if they just put it? Well, I get that it never released on the Game Boy Advance, but what if they put it on the Game Boy Advance app for Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack? Chased by giant bugs? That looks peaceful now, but I'm sure that'll change. Oh, you could... What is that, a cow? I don't know. Or a horse? Maybe it's a... I guess it's a horse. Horses don't have tails like that, though. Horror Keeper from Pub Storm and Fireshine games. Drawn towards a mysterious artifact, you find I don't expect to have my mind blown away from this. But, but they're still fun to watch, though. Gives me an excuse to do a live stream and upload this on YouTube tomorrow. Crops to grow, pets to hatch, bases to build, and monsters to fight during your subterranean adventure. Uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, because, well, it doesn't suck having to do this, Oh, I love doing this, but it, what does suck is I'm supposed to wait 24 hours before uploading this to YouTube, no, or to any other platform, basically. As up to eight players can work together in online multiplayer to explore the underground. Customize your own character. But it is what it is. Assign skills, upgrade your tools and armor, and prepare to face the titans that lie in wait. That's a titan. This cavern is ready to be explored in Game Keeper. Plunging onto Nintendo so this summer, next or ne well, next summer. Okay, what's next? Humble games. Memorable games. I wish I could stay here forever. You can if you really want to. What? Obviously not humans. On Your Tail is the name of the game. They almost look like humans until you get close up. Find something out, shrimp. Oh, so is it like a inspection game? You, can you move stuff with your mind? Inspection. Uh, detectives. I said. I, I meant to say detectives, not inspection. Although I guess they're kind of similar, but so. Ciao, sono Mauro, direttore creativo di On Your Tail. Io sono Imma, l'art director. E io sono Andrea, il produttore esecutivo del gioco. Producer, art director, and director. Memorable games. Non vediamo l'ora di accompagnarvi in un'indimenticabile avventura investigativa. Molti di noi cresciuti qui in Italia condividono bellissime Italia. storie delle vacanze al mare. Per un paio di magiche settimane si viveva una vita diversa, si incontravano nuovi amici, si esploravano posti nuovi e si facevano esperienze mai provate prima. L'avventura di Diana in On Your Tale è ispirata a quelle esperienze, ma con un pizzico di mistero in più. Speriamo che la visita a Borgo Marina possa darvi quelle stesse sensazioni What's with the shirt? di figo e meraviglia. <laughs> a presto! See you soon. A seaside mystery awaits. Avoir. Oh wait, that's the, that's the wrong language. Italian, not French. As the intrepid young detective Diana explore the charming village of Borgo Marina. Hit the beach, hang out with friends, play games in the arcade, or kick back. Did that just hold on? Go back. How you Did that say Coca-Cola? Play games. Probably not. Or Go back. Wait. I don't, it looked like Coca-Cola. I don't think it was, though. It kind of, well... It, it does look like, maybe it does say Coca-Cola. Okay. It'd be like when I was streaming Metal Gear Solid 2 the other day, the Master Collection version, by the way. Uh, beat the game the other day, uh, and then there was a FedEx truck in one of the cutscenes, which probably was meant to be cut out of this version. They said they were going to be, like, changing some of the cutscenes. Well, for some reason they left the FedEx truck in the 
during the ending of MGS2. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. Um, isn't there really has no resemblance to the loose? rest of the game, but... Uh, yeah, about that. It was just funny. Investigation all. And interrogation skills to get to the bottom of this mystery. Collecting clue cards along the way will help deduce who the menace behind the mask really is. Play your clue cards right, and you might just have a vacation you'll never forget. Oh, I'm sure. On your tail, launch so next year. Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive next year. A timed okay. She has lived in the What is this? But it what is this game? When her brother was taken away. I got too much ice in here. Death, which gives her a unique protection against this curse. Many Those supposed to be wolves? She spent I don't know. Perhaps reveal the unlucky fate of her brother. Yeah, I guess I guess so. Howl is the name of the game. A fairy tale world is being ravaged by the howl. A sinister plague spread through sound alone. Only How do you say that name of the studio? The okay, so at Astrogon Entertainment. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's the developer and one is the publisher, but. Me Poopy Games. I'm sure. I guarantee I said that wrong. But I don't know how to say that. Only a deaf prophet can find it's not the Hawaiian, is it? Back peace to this realm. Use both your weapons and I don't know, I've never heard of the studio. Or the publisher, or whatever. Illustrated with a living ink art style. You'll need to stay more than one step ahead. Six steps, in fact. Plan your moves in advance, predicting your enemy's actions as you write your own prophecy. Hmm. Plot your route carefully. Find secret paths and unlock new skills. All with the goal to save the villagers from the claws and howls of the wolves. Howl arrives on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's available today. Later today. Or, well, after the stream. Demo will also be available on Nintendo eShop. I probably won't get the game. Uh, this Professor Layton? No, no, no. Is it? No, I think it, I don't know. It's probably something else. Yeah, it is something else. Sandwiches. Oh, that's a uh, like a piston, I guess. I thought that was, I don't know. It looked like lipstick at first. Got snakes. What else you got? Thunder, lightning, and rain. <sighs> the star EOS. Hello, we are so lying the star named Are EOS. Game, the star named EOS is a narrative adventure puzzle game where players use photography to explore stunning scenery. Oh, okay. Behind every object, painting, and photograph lies fascinating stories waiting to be discovered. To highlight the difference between reality and memories, as well as capture the fleeting essence of time itself, we chose photography as our game theme. We wanted to use a more intimate and heartfelt interactive experience to convey the personal emotions and struggles that are buried deep within our hearts. We hope you will look forward to playing the Star Name VLs. Photographs and the memories held within them tell hmm. a heartwarming story of love and understanding in this puzzle-driven narrative adventure. As young photographer Day, use your in-game camera to take pictures of the hand-drawn world around you solving puzzles to help uncover the truth about your mother's absence. Overcome challenges to recreate old photographs and piece together the story. Use those snapshots to step back in time and shed new light on the moments when the pictures were taken. Discover the beauty of the star named Double Eos Spring next year on Nintendo Switch next spring. Silver Lining Studio plays them. Here's an oddly specific question. What if expertly packing a bag made you more- It's already been playing for 12 minutes. Jeez, doesn't feel like it. Would make me a hero? Exactly! Though, in the case Backpack of- Backpack hero? ...like deck builder, the supermarket is a perilous dungeon full of- I think they made a game based on the stock market. I'm sure they- 
uh, I have done that before. Ultra said you joined Area 51. If you offer him 500 chocolate chip cookies, you could see their own orange bear polar bears. Well, uh, I well, I, I only have 499. Uh, is that going to be enough? I still get to be a hero, though, right? Yes. Bring back the loot you find in the dungeon to help rebuild your hometown. The locals will certainly consider you a hero. No? Excellent. Okay. I'll, I'll cough it up. Items with incredible <coughs> powers and abilities. And organize your backpack to <clears throat> unleash their full potential. Find potent combinations and use each character's unique abilities to repel whatever enemies stand in your way. Grab your magic backpack and prepare for some. The Twitch changed like the inventory management. In oh, that's just how they show up on my monitor. Why do the emotes look different later today? than my phone? I don't know. Welcome to future Osaka, Japan. A dystopian cyberpunk world where a Blade group known as the Shimira. Association is I don't know if that's how you're supposed I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce that with demons. in Japanese, but One member is it Shimera or Shimela or whatever it said. Unexpected turn. Shimula. In this 2D action game, you'll wield the powerful luminous sword. That was a blue dragon. Kind of looked purple. But... This blade not only cuts down foes. But can also interfere I mean, I guess it could be like a once destroyed stairs, mix of purple and blue. Platforms to reach new areas. Escalators. It kind of reminds me of Mr. Shift, Mr. Shifty. Okay. These hells are a wash with stories. What is this? Come to the scene. So far, I haven't really seen any games that I, I'm actually sold on like I'm sure they are fine games I just don't know if I would enjoy them I must be off the trolley. usually indie worlds are just kind of mediocre usually there's at least like one or two games though that I was oh I want to get that and then I never buy it I remember there was a game a couple games before we were playing as birds on skateboards I forgot the name of it and then there's one where you were um playing as a a hermit crab, or not a her well, a crab, not a hermit crab, but a crab on the beach. Come to the lighthouse, Myra. Come as fast as you can. A Highland song. Eco. Eco is probably the Joe, developer or publisher. And the creative director of A Highland Song. Hmm. And I'm Nat, lead level designer in the game. A Highland Song is all about how it feels to explore the mountains of Scotland. And it's been directly inspired by our own adventures in the wilderness. The remote Scottish Highlands can be beautiful, but also harsh and unforgiving if you're not prepared. So in Scotland. That balance is something we've tried to capture in the gameplay of a Highland song, from difficult climbs to fast-paced rhythm runs. We're excited for you to immerse yourself in the landscape we've created. Get ready to head for the hills. We're going on a foot-tapping frolic through the okay. Scottish Highlands. All roads lead hmm. to the ocean in this narrative platformer, and there are a lot of different roads. I should have never come here. the peaks and roam the valleys, uncovering hundreds of new paths and shortcuts to reach the sea as fast as you can. Hmm. The narrative builds and adapts based on the route you take, with the sights, sounds, and characters you encounter affecting the tale. Run, jump. Climb and scramble your way to your goal. Okay. With the sound of Scottish folk music scoring mm. your journey. A Highland Song launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. Pre orders begin today. Inco Limited. E okay. That comes out in a couple weeks. Explore or three weeks, whatever. Procedurally generated islands in this creature collecting, dungeon crawling, deck building life sim. So basically, all my favorites rolled into one? Yep. You'll aim to become a world-renowned alchemist by exploring islands in the sky, collecting over 60 adorable spirits in compelling card combat across this open world. Then, when you're ready to head home, a whole community awaits to help you unwind. Craft items, tend to your farm, brew potions, decorate your home, befriend the local villagers, and who knows, maybe you'll mm. even fall in love. Live your <coughs> life however you choose in Moonstone Island, launching on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive next spring. The Mushroom Kingdom. 
Now what? Ah, oh, detective game. It's kind of disappointing, but I'm not surprised it's disappointing. I would like to see at least one game I'm interested in, though, but... But like I said, they're usually pretty mediocre. But, I mean, it, it's a way to pass the time, I guess. You got nothing else to do. Moses? Hmm, I don't know. I just can't really get into this game. Death Trip Double Blind. Trip, Hello, trick, not trip. Is that Mandarin? Well, it's Chinese, but I mean, Chinese isn't a language. I don't know if it's Mandarin or come on, Cantonese. Come on. Morgan's traveling circus is in town. Unfortunately, their star magician Hattie has gone missing in this investigative visual novel. Hmm. Enter an unlikely detective duo. One, a fellow magician. The other, a private eye with an unfortunate bout of amnesia. As they each investigate Hattie's disappearance, you'll need to combine each character's clues to figure out which suspects have been clowning around. With only a limited number of actions at your disposal, you'll need to carefully decide which leads to pursue, looking out for contradictions in the evidence you acquire. Sort through your collection of clues, get to know the stories of each whimsical character you encounter, and challenge anyone you find to be deceitful. The investigation begins when Death Trick Double Blind launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. A free demo will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Is that it? Probably. Eh. This actually looks like. Oh, what is that? That looks interesting. This? Outer Wilds. Oh, this is all the same. Yeah, I thought this was something else. Alright, this one looked like the most interesting so far. Exploration is key Probably the last game they're showing. The mysteries of this peculiar solar system. This open world Art. adventure has you Ecologist multiple planets edition. in search of clues, strange signals, and ancient hmm. alien text to decipher. But don't dawdle, the solar system is trapped in a time loop, and each planet changes dramatically as you explore. Delve into an underground city before it's swallowed by sand. Dodge sky high cyclones, and explore a planet collapsing into the black hmm. hole at its core. Find the keys to unlock the secrets of the solar system in the most hidden and dangerous of places. Plus, unravel the deepest secret of them all in the included Echoes of the Eye expansion. Grab your cosmic hiking gear when Outer Wilds Archaeologist Edition touches down on Nintendo Switch December 7th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A physical version will also be available next year. Well, Amber, yeah. it looks like our time's almost up. Almost. But what? Oh, is there one more game? Let's take a look at a few more indie games coming to Nintendo. Probably gonna be like a montage. Yep. Planet of Luna. This looks like it almost is like uh, Prince of Persia, kind of. Just different character, obviously. I do you like the frame rate though? Enjoy the dinner or the diner. Heavenly Bodies. The Gecko Gods? 
Oh, interesting. Pass part out to the lost artist. Urban Myth Disillusion Center. Raid Anniversary Edition. I think about a comma in the title. Instead of like a colon. Now oh, whatever. Thanks for watching, right. everyone. Eh, kind of disappointing, but in not too surprised. I was hoping at, for at least like a couple games that I would want to get, but didn't really see any. It is what it is. Official Indie World account to stay up to date on the latest news on X. Indie World. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I suppose they don't have like a Facebook profile for that, or maybe they do and they just don't advertise. I don't know. All right. Eh. Okay. So Indie World, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, kind of disappointing, but you know it is what it is. Um. Probably in a little bit, I'm going to come back and stream some Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm going to uh, stop this stream and then start that. And it won't be, like, immediately, but I'm hoping to start it at least pretty soon. So I do look forward to that. Uh, and then I, I'm going to have to wait to upload this to YouTube until tomorrow. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know. Like, what did you guys think of it? I mean, I'm sure there are people that actually did legitimately enjoy this, which is fine. Um, hopefully there are. I just didn't care for it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And yes, that's mainly... I, I guarantee you, like, if there was... There were games I cared for, it's like, oh, this wasn't a bad presentation. Yeah, so it's just more of an opinion that I just didn't care for this. I, I don't know if I would say it was a bad presentation. It's just a mediocre presentation. I mean, there were interesting games in it, but nothing that really sold me on, oh, I gotta, got, I gotta get this game. Uh, the Gecko game looked kind of cool. Um, oh, that's... Oh, okay. So, let's just see. What is... Oh, never mind. I thought that was part of the stream. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's now showing these other games? It's just, uh, YouTube saying, oh, I should watch these videos next, basically. Yeah. But, uh, let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, until next time, I want to thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Have a good one.